I do not feel good, but I'm committed to y'all. Let's see how far I get. A man called Otto. Let's go. Yes, don't mind me. I'm doing a face mask because self-care. But I'm also watching a man called Ove. Nope. <laughs> That's what the book's called. <laughs> it's also pronounced very differently. But I'm watching a man called Otto, which I saw first. I'm glad the movie does a trigger warning for suicide because when I saw it in the theaters, it did not. So thank you, Netflix, for that ad. Tom Hanks has said like five words and he's the perfect grumpy old man. I love everything, everything about this. Uh, Tom Hanks is a great angry old man. Robot, robot, abort, robot. <laughs> what I want to know is, is this supposed to be set in Sweden? Like the book? Or where is this supposed to be? But also... He kind of reminds me of my grandpa. <laughs> he listens as good as my kids do. They're yelling at him to stop, and he just keeps going. I'm glad it's showing me the, like, different trash bins, because when I read that, even though I've seen this movie before, but when I read it, it didn't click. Especially, I saw this movie when it came out forever ago, it feels like. I wonder if they made such a big deal about uh, him saying Otto, Otto, O-T-T-O, because in the book, it's spelled O-V-E, but it's pronounced Uva. Hmm, maybe it's a little nod. This cat is such a cute cat. How could no one not want him? I do love that the movie makes it seem like he uh is trying to get his phone turned off because the robot calling him they are taking a lot of quotes from the book so that's kind of fun i am enjoying that i really don't remember the first attempted suicide happening this quick <laughs> there are some changes that make me think it's not sweden A whole train ticket for a dollar and ten cents. Could you imagine? I love that he finds his match in Marisol. And she's like, I'm not taking your shit. That cat is grabbing onto Otto like Slash grabs onto me. Just attacks. No, just kidding. I actually like Slash. <laughs> I love that Marisol goes into an explanation about what kind of Mexican she is. Because when I went to college... I had friends, I had someone who was Mexican, and I sub had someone who was born in El Salvador, and so he was El Salvadorian. And it was a very clear distinction. <laughs> They're kind of doing a lot of the backstory kind of in different order, but other than that, it's been pretty. <laughs> it's been pretty on point up until someone just got set. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I like how uh, they do little nods without, like, people who didn't read the book wouldn't know. Like, he had um, newspaper under the kids in the back seat, so. Okay, a lot of the backstory has changed. <laughs> but a lot of the present stuff is the same. Anyone who throws a rock at a cat, I don't care how bad you don't like cats, but anyone who throws a rock at a cat is not a good person. Like, the fact that nobody helped that guy off the train track, and they all just pulled out their phones. Does that, like, explain America to a T? They've changed a lot of the names in the movie. I understand changing Marisol's, although I really wanted to hear how to pronounce her name in the book. But a lot of the names are getting changed. It's cute that the cat really wants to stay with him. And then claws onto his pants. I bet Allie's gonna watch that and hate cats even more. I'm glad they put almost all the backstory in. And it's cute that they have um, Otto narrating it on. It makes me so sad when the cat's all frozen. 
from being Woody, who only wants to be played with, to being Otto, who has no idea how to play. Good range, Tom Hanks, good range. I do love Jimmy. <laughs> Imagine if me and Allie did that, did videos on follow us. I guess I've never seen a bus crash before, but that looks a whole lot more like a airplane crash. Like with all the stuff all over the place. I don't know. Does that happen in bus crashes too? Otto with this cat is like I would envision Allie with a cat if she were to try and get one. <laughs> Young Otto does not feel as angry as old Otto is. Should I put this thing back in him as he's talking about a binky? <laughs> I like Otto's relationship with the kids in the movie better. He starts having more and more people going on his morning rounds with him. It's so cute. The book ending was way better, but other than that, that matched pretty well. Yes, I am crying, <laughs> but I just realized that uh, Sonya's birthday is August 24th. <laughs> I also found a song that I really like in this movie, and so I was looking it up to add it to my library. And I found out that the end credit song is sang by... Tom Hanks' wife. 